Morning everyone, it's Jennifer Earl coming to you from JE Photography Design. Um, I was just going to do a quick tutorial for those that have downloaded this free snow globe um, so you can use it and enjoy it. Um, currently the snow globe I have it's in Photoshop and the picture that I'm going to use is in Lightroom because all my pictures I bring into Lightroom and I edit in Lightroom. So I'm going to export it from Lightroom. So what I do is I choose my photo and then I right click it and then I click on edit in Adobe Photoshop. So I've already done that and it has already come in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unlock the background by clicking the lock button and I'm going to use up here on the top left the quick select and have it set to plus. And if you use your and usually if you use your bracket tool, it should, uh, your right bracket and left bracket, it should increase the size of the, the, um, circle, the, the area that you're choosing from, um, the mat, the, the selection circle, sorry. So if you use your right bracket, it'll increase it like that. If you use your left bracket, it will decrease it. So I'm just going to go on and I'm just going to choose my two subjects that I want and I'm just clicking on parts of their clothes. You know, it may pull in parts of the door and the outside parts maybe that I don't want but I can mask that off when I take it into my snow globe. This is mainly just to get the majority of it in and then I'll fine tune in the actual photo itself. So I'm just going to select them, bear with me. It's kind of a, sometimes it can be a tedious project. Perhaps I should have just gone with one person to do the tutorial, but hey, go big or go home, right? So I thought I would do two. And I'm just going to go in and select part of their little Santa hats here. Oh dear. And sometimes that can happen. It looks like my computer may have froze. Oh, hey, whew, it's all back. Catastrophe averted. Um, okay, so I think I've got all of them. Oh, no, part of his shirt's missing. Down here. And, of course, I brought in the door. So other than that, I think I'm good. So I'm just looking through, like, around all the dancing ants to make sure that I have at least their body and their clothes contained in it. And I do. So... I'm going to see if I can just get rid of this door part here. So I'm just going to go to the negative up at the top and just click on the door and see if it can at least take some of it away. So less masking on my part. And it looks like it's working. So I'm just going to leave it like that because I don't want to be playing around with it too terribly much. So now I'm going to go up to the top where it says select and mask. And I'm going to, these numbers I usually just play around with. I'm going to do a smooth of six, a radius of two, and I'm going to feather it out by one pixel. One pixel. Again, this is just how it's going to come in, like the edges and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm just going to do that for now. And then when I do output, I want to output to a new layer with a layer mask and then I'm gonna go okay so now you can see it's created a secondary layer and it's already added the mask to it so now I'm going to zoom in I know there's a shortcut for zooming but for the life of me I can never remember what it is so I do it the good old-fashioned way of just going down to the corner and typing in the number I want so on my mask it's a black mask and as you can see, they're white already where it's masked out. So black mask, I need, I need black, ha <laughs> ha, tricky, tricky. I always do that to myself. And I just, I had my opacity down, so I changed it back up to 100%. And bear with me, my computer's a little bit on the pokey doodle side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to mask this off. 
I'm going to pause it and I'm going to come back when I'm done because you don't want to watch me go through and mask all this because it's a very tedious job. So when I'm done masking, I'll come back to you. Just hold on one sec. Okay, I've got the masking done. It only took me about mm, 10 minutes or so because I'm very anal about going into certain areas and getting it done right. Anyways, for you, it took me about one second. So I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on the image layer itself using my move tool up here. I'm just going to click on the kids and I'm going to drag them up and hover over the snow globe light, the snow globe tab up the top and drop them in. And there they are. So now I'm just going to do an edit free transform. And when you do an edit free transform, so I'm looking for my corners here, always hold your shift key. That holds the aspect ratio. Very, very important so you don't have distorted looking children. So I'm just going to do it to approximately the size I think they should be for the snow globe. Which I think something like this would work. And as you can see, I'm bringing them down a little bit lower. So it's feet are outside of the snow globe, which is fine because in the picture itself, um, the snow was covering part of her shoe. So I don't want that in the picture. So now I need to get rid of this part here that's hanging over the snow globe. So since there's still a mask on them, I'm going to go back to my brush, still black, and I'm just going to brush that off. And it just kind of looks like now they're hiding beneath the snow globe. The, their feet are down in the snow globe itself. So now what I sometimes do is I'm going to add a new layer. Shift Control N or com Shift Command N I think on the Mac. Um, I use a Windows computer. I'm going to use just my normal brush white with a low opacity of maybe 23 and I use a brush that's um, very as you can see up here it's very feathered so it's not very hard at all I'm just gonna brush in some white down here and it may look a little bit weird at first I brush it in a couple layers and then I just throw a layer mask on I like layer masks. I'm going to go a higher opacity and I'm just going to kind of, sorry, not that high. Maybe a, okay, we'll go 35 because that's what it landed on. Just going to brush some of that off. So it's very, very, very subtle in there. Now, I'd say they look pretty good in there. There was some dark still on them, but because it blends in with the trees behind, it's fine. Um, and you will notice that on the one you downloaded, there was three lights, one, two, three, right here, one, two, three. Oh, looks like there still might be there. Um, if you find the lights are not placed properly, I'm just going to actually hide my kids for a second. Um, if you don't like, if it re really looks cloned to you, what you can do is take your clone tool, just over on the side, that looks like a little stamp, and you're going to press Alt anywhere, and you get this like weird little bullseye thing. Just click on the green tree, holding Alt, click on the green tree, drag it over, and then you can hide, let's hide this one here. You can cover that up, and what it's doing is taking a part of this and just covering that. Um, say I want to put this light somewhere else, maybe right here, I can do that. So with the clone tool, you can pretty much do anything, um, moving things around. Just be careful, because like when I cloned that in, you could notice that I had done the same thing. So you just kind of want to pick different areas up and move them. If that makes sense. Anyways, I deleted those clones. Or I didn't delete them. I just moved up two layers. I have my history layer open. So I just moved back up to where I made a layer and I added the snow in. So as you can see, when I turn the snow off and on, it's not that huge of a difference. But I like it. Sorry, I'm just, I noticed there's a little bit hanging out on the snow globe. I'm going to bring my opacity up. And I'm just going to delete it from there. Excuse the noise in the background if you can hear it. My children are watching National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's a, one of our favorite Christmas movies around here. So, 
I've got that done. Now what I need to do is obviously add some snow. So I have snow. I've personally made snow myself. Oh, no, I didn't make the snow. <laughs> That'd be funny. I photographed the snow last year. Um, and excuse my crazy, all these crazy little uh, things I have to go through. Um, I photographed the snow last year, 2017. I had took a black sheet outside, hung it off our balcony, and had the the camera on a tripod, and stood there with my phone. So I had the trigger on my phone, so I could take pictures of it. I would, in, with one hand, with a bare hand, so I had a freezing cold hand, would throw the snow up and take a picture of it. Did that numerous times, different focal lengths, so I could get all these different, you know, close-ups. Uh, kind of more of a bokeh looking. So this is actual snow that I did photograph last year. So what I'm going to do is I just pretty much, um, as you saw, I went to file and I place embedded and then it just brings in this big black thing that, you know, clearly I don't want a big black snow blob. So I need to change it to, um, instead of normal, I want it to set screen. And there you go. It pretty much takes all the black away. And I'm going to use I'm going to use this here. So again, I need a layer mask. This picture is going to take a lot of layer masks. So I'm just going to delete this part that I don't want. And if I knew how to show you how to do the um, actual snow falling itself, I would do that for you. But I haven't quite figured that out. You know, the animated ones where the snow is falling. That's wicked. I love that. But can't figure it out. So anyways, I'm going to change the opacity down to like a 37. Just to brush slightly off their face. That's the only place I brush off. I leave it everywhere else. And that's pretty much the snow globe. Now from here, you could add a text in here over here if you wanted. Um, like Merry Christmas from the whoever's. Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, just whatever you wanted to type, you know, um, and then save it. So this is an 11 by 14, but you could save it and make a different size if you wanted. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually merge all these layers. And I am going to edit, free transform it. You may wonder why I'm doing that, so just watch for one second. And ignore all that outside of it. That's from the snow that I didn't uh, I didn't change, or didn't mask away. So I'm going to change the canvas size to, let's say, a, a 5x7. Uh, so, a se sorry, a 7x5, so maybe you want to do a Christmas card with it. And I'm going to proceed and edit free transform and so that's how you can do that you can just like edit the canvas size however you want and that's the easiest way to do it and there you go you have your perfect picture so hopefully that helps thanks for watching um if anyone's interested um i, ha I have a different group it's called in the box education i'm gonna pop it up here for one second if anyone's interested don't mind all my crazy Facebook stuff, um, in the box education. It is a group for box pictures if anyone's interested. So all these wonderful box photos. If you're interested in learning how to do that, come and join us at in the box education. Um, it's pretty simple to join. We'll approve you and you can get started on making your own awesome boxes. And I have wonderful things like Santa's in there. And we also do fun things like sharing these snow globes, um, which I'm also giving away in my group too. And periodically I give other free things away in the group. So feel free to come and join us. And hopefully you find this video tutorial a little bit helpful for using the free snow globe that I'm giving away. Thanks and have a great day. Bye guys.